So, hi, my name is Tian Yuan Cai. I'm a machine learning engineer on the document cloud team in Adobe. So, um, our past talk have uh, spent quite some time talking about the need to individualize font choices by user, by needs, by background. While we know that font influences reading speed, the current reading interfaces for fonts doesn't really help us find faster reading fonts. Instead, the commonly seen font selectors presents long and alphabetically selected uh, sorted fonts with very limited guidance on how to choose from them for people who are not trained as a typographer. In the past, typographers that we've worked with in our research group have often championed the importance of personalizing font choices. Based on the interviews with them, we found that there may not be a one-size-fits-all font. In fact, different users may read faster in different fonts based on their age, self-rated reading speed, and other characteristics as a reader. Additionally, we have commonly observed in other studies that readers are often not able to select their fastest reading font simply based on their preference. So the question becomes, how can we recommend a faster fonts for readers? In this work, we explore the use of machine learning to help accomplish this task. And today, I will walk you through the findings from my endeavor to build a personalized recommender for faster fonts. We name our recommender Font Mart. The paper has been submitted and accepted to ACM's Design, uh, Design Interactive System Conference in 2022. So we start by identifying features that may influence reading speed, because these are features that can help us estimate reading speed for individuals. Based on interviews with typographers, as well as the literature reviews, we identified a suite of font and reader characteristics from the past that are candidates. So we collect these font data through a custom built web application uh, to extract all the font details. And then we collected the user data from our readability studies, which is an online remote study where we invite users to participate. After, case, after experimenting with a wide variety of models and structures, we adopted Lambda March to help sort fonts based on these input features. To train a machine learning to train a machine learning model like our recommender, we need to collect training data. So our training data comes from the readability study run with 252 paid crowd workers. And during this study, they perform reading studies that include a font preference test, reading speed, and comprehension tests. Our objective is not to differentiate the bad from the good font, but rather to select the personalized fastest font and therefore, we focus on fonts that are considered prevalent, diverse, and readable to begin with. During the readability study, we then asked participants to perform the various tests in all eight fonts shown on the right. In the study, we again find that the participants were unable to identify their fastest fonts simply based on, all, based on their own preference. In fact, Participants preferred fonts with larger X height, larger widths, such as Meriwether and Poppins. However, Georgia and Ariel are more often their fastest fonts. Again, showing the importance of supporting readers with font recommendation. Now, we look at the prediction made by our font recommender, Font March. We find that it does a much better job than the users to recover the ground truth distribution of the fastest font. You can see the distribution matches much better between the fastest and the recommended fonts. We've evaluated our personalized font recommendation against various baselines. And comparing to them, we find that our personalized font recommendation can help participants read faster anywhere from 14 to 26 words per minute. And that's equivalent to two or more additional letter pages read per hour. However, on average, the ground truth fastest font is still 46 words per minute faster than our recommended font, as you can see by the blue bar in the bottom. This shows the possibility to improve our recommendation even further with additional training data. I recall that at the moment, we're only training on a model with 252 participants, which is very limited uh, comparing to the amount of people who are using web browsers. We can also dive deeper to understand why our model works well in this particular case. 
And as we expected, a combination of reader and font information help support accurate model predictions. Among all the factors considered, we found that the participant's age played the largest role in providing an accurate font recommendation. This is a pattern that has repeatedly come up during our interview with the typographers as well. When we look at the font recommendation by quartiles of age, we find that Georgia is recommended more often for the older users. Arial generally works well across age groups. And on the other hand, poppings work particularly well for participants between the age of 19 and 25. Based on the takeaways from these figures, it's interesting to think about even without a fully personalized model, there's still opportunity to provide recommendation by age cohort instead of giving a one size fits all solution. Therefore, even, through, even though some developers may not be able to fully implement the model at the moment, um, our insight can still be implemented easily using a rule-based system on the browser. Uh, last, I wanna say that our paper will be presented at ACM's Design Interactive Conference in June, 2022. And you can use this link to sign up for any updates that we have related to this line of work. And we'll send you a published version of the paper when it comes out. Thank you.